Hello everybody, I'm going to present you today how to make a 9 volt battery connector from an old 9 volt battery. So let's But first, let's go online and see how much a, a 9 volt battery connector is going to cost. So, stay tuned. We're going to proceed by measuring the battery voltage to see if some of these old batteries are dead. Alright, so. Positive and negative, this is a simple process. Eight, so this is good. This one, good. Aha, uh -huh. we got a bad one. Next, mm -hmm. still good. So we're gonna do the same for all this battery that we have, or we're gonna find, or whatever you're gonna manage to, to find your batteries. This one go as well and so on all right so we have managed to find two bad batteries we're gonna measure them again just a sec to be sure yeah this is definitely dead and this is nearly dead by the way if you want to check this video how to make a proper 9 volt battery rechargeable using 18650 cell check out the video or the description below Alright, so basically we are choosing this kind of PPT3 connector for the old batteries because for our project we, we're gonna need something to charge them, some kind of port like this maybe or some kind of special you know female connector like this one as you can see here but all of these are expensive if you you're gonna end up all of it you know add them all up uh, you're gonna be broke. So this is the next best thing. We're gonna use these special connectors for our future projects, you know, to charge them, to discharge the stuff, you know, and and this one is usable because one can connect to the to the other, like so, for a short period of time. In this case, so we're gonna open it up, sort of some wires, and prepare our standard connector from now on. All righty then. For the opening process of this 9 volt battery is very simple, just take a plier like this one in case here, cut them a little bit you know, on this side and then it's gonna peel off all this metal casing. So be very careful, not poke your hands and this thingy is quite sharp, so be very careful. Yeah. This is inside the 9 volt battery, basically a couple of batteries put it in series, nothing special. But this kind of connector is the stuff that we need for our future project as well. Alright, so this one goes all the way till the bottom. You can save it if you want or just remove the thing. Here you go, the connector goes all the way till the bottom. Now, so, uh, this is, you see? This was 1.5 volts. This uh, has already been uh, exposed to some kind of shortage and it started to corrode over here. So we're not gonna use the whole length of this. We're just gonna cut it like so. And as you can see, you got a paper here protected for the other one. You can keep it or leave it. All right, we're gonna put this one aside. Maybe we're gonna use this one as well. This one, we're gonna take it apart later on. We're gonna proceed to the next one. I've removed all the excess uh, thing metals. We're gonna cut this one as well as the normal one to have them some kind of equal. So there you have it. This one can be stationary and this one could be mobile. You just plug them in and you got the secure connection as well. So we're gonna extend some wires. We're gonna bring in them the heat gun, extend some wires and do some testing. All right? Stay tuned. <coughs> we are back so to keep this project you know simple and free as well we have this internet cable that we're gonna strip remove the wires to be soldered onto this 9 volt battery connection this if you can get your hands free on this kind of cable internet or utp cable is very useful you, you will see now how many wires is inside one of these things and they are in pairs as well 
2, 4, 6, 8. So here we go. We got 8 wires in our impulse. So for this uh, <coughs> thing, we're gonna use just uh, 2 and 2, but you can double them if you need more amperage as well. So we're gonna need one wire and another one. Alright, the rest we're gonna put them aside. We're gonna bring in the soldering iron and the necessary stuff, you know, compound, solder, and something to rub against the thing. You know. We're gonna strip the ends <coughs> a little bit, or if you're gonna have different cables, you can do it differently. But I'm keeping this project as simple as possible and as free or cheap as possible. Now the process is very simple, put it in a compound, <coughs> put some solder into this thing here, assuming the, the soldering iron is done, it's heated up to temperature, here we go, just leave it inside there, come on friendly, and do not touch it because it's going to be very very hot. Go. We're gonna put the same blob in the next hole. Do not keep it too long because you can melt this plastic uh, cover. <coughs> the second one as well. And then we're gonna bring in the wires. And we should be good to go. Now we're gonna bring in the wires very easily. As you can see, I made a tiny spiral kind of thing. Come on, what the fuck is going on? There you go, friends. We got a connector ready. Now we're gonna cut the excess wire. Just like so. Optional, if you want, you can put some. Uh, <coughs> Um, glue gun here, hot glue to keep it more steady in place, and that's it. There you have it a nice, neat connector free for your project, a new universal connector that you can make for your project. And from now on, from an old battery, 9 volts. Thanks all for watching. Let me know, thumbs up, subscribe, and see you on the next one. See ya.